Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you around my planner tote. This is everything that I use for my regular everyday or weekly planning sessions. I have some other accessories that live on a shelf, but I only maybe add them to here when they're needed. These are the things I use every single time. What I have them in here is a Craftsman tool tote. I got it at Kmart probably about two or more years ago and it's made for tools obviously and I don't even know if they're still available. You could, you could try online. You know what I'll do? I will look online and see if I can find them and if I can, I will link it below. But I'll just jump right in here. Uh, let's go with these little front pockets in here. Now, this is just kind of whatever fits. And so, I mean, it's not perfectly beautifully organized, but it works for me. Uh, in here, in these pockets, I have some pens. Uh, this is just a little, oh, these little pens you get from Japan. I think I got this in a happy scrappy box uh, or like mystery kit, whatever. This is a multi-pin that I really actually enjoy. It works great in my Hobonichi and I got this from Flyleaf Bookbinding on Etsy. And this is, I think I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. It's one of those kind of crayon gel highlighters, I guess. I don't really like them for highlighting because I feel like they're messy. So anyway, this is where I have stamp ink. And these are all, oh, I forgot I had this. Oh, it just popped out. Okay, a little rose paper clip. These are all, I think, from the Target Dollar Spot. They come in three packs. So it's got this one, got this silver one. This is like a lime green color. And in here I have two. I have this pink one and this black one. And if we're being honest, I pretty much only use black. <laughs> Every now and then I'll use a green one for money. But uh, this right here is one of these white out tape things. I love these. It's my favorite type of uh, way to get rid of my mistakes. Uh, let's see. We'll go around here and let me see if I can angle it down a little bit. That's as far as it'll go. But in here it's, it's got this kind of elastic net thing here. And this is another stamp pad. This is a black one. This is actually the one that I reach for the most. It's pigment ink. This one, I think it was on clearance or something at, uh, at Meyer. It's still in its packaging here. I have a couple of markers here. This is an extra Crayola Super Tips that I just had out, a purple Sharpie. And here I do have some sticky notes. These are all from the Target Dollar Spot, I'm pretty sure, just over the years. <laughs> and what's funny is I recently uh, thought that I ran out of these because I was like buying sticky notes all the time and then I finally gave, came to a point where I thought I used them all, but I had just a few left in my planner tote. So I was glad about that because I use them all the time. This is an adhesive tape roller. Got some more inks. This is Studio G. I believe this was from Meyer. Maybe. I don't know. This came with, um, this came in a, like a white and gold pack with something. It, it was like a package. It was a gift package. This right here is a pink stamp pad. You know, to be honest, I don't even know if this still works. This is from my childhood. It even has my old name and phone number <laughs> on it. And uh, this is just some black ink that I think also came in a little gift package that I got probably, if I were to guess, I would say I probably got it at a planner meetup. But the thing is, I don't stamp that much, but when I do, I totally get into it. I love it. It's so fun. It's different than stickers because everything is like on the same surface instead of kind of different surfaces with, uh, or different textures with stickers. We'll go over to this side because on the back, I honestly don't even know what this, this is for. I have seen people loop washi on here and I did that once and it only fit a few rolls so I didn't mess with it anymore. Here we have, it's hard to see, but it's two little compartments here. This is from Creative Memories. I love it. I got it back in my scrapbooking days. And if you could see these, this allows you to write um, on a straight line, but still be able to do like Y's and stuff because 
yeah and a straight edge on the other side and I like this is creative memories still around does anybody know I should look that up <laughs> but the, I just have that in there and I just have this random Jetstream pen I don't even know where I got that and a stencil in here I have other stencils, but they actually are in a little book that I kind of use as a bullet journal. I haven't really talked about it because I just started it. Um, stay tuned. It will come in my plan, my 2018 planner recap video. So that will be coming, I promise. All right, let's jump into the big section here. This is a pen case that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. Mm, again, probably a year or two ago. And this is my main pen stash. This is pretty much all I use in my planners. And I have some Paper Mate flares back here. I've got some pencils. I've got some uh, ultra fine point, or is that what they're called? Ultra fine, fine and ultra fine. This is ultra fine, but this is finer than ultra fine. I don't know. So I have those. Uh, I, I like the really bright Sharpies. This is one of my favorite gel pens. Uh, I prefer the Ink Joy Gel, but this is a Uniball and has a lid. Oh, I love it so much. I have some mild liners in here that I enjoy as well. But that's it. I have this little uh, thing that goes in the Happy Planner back here, and I've got a ruler, and I love this, my little Westcott ruler. It works great if I need to draw lines and stuff. Oh, and it looks like I have some more of the whiteout tape right there. I'm just gonna start pulling things out because it's gonna get real messy if I don't. This looks like a meal plan. I, I didn't declutter this. This is this is how we are. <laughs> oh, let's see up here. I've got these sticky little pockets that from Heidi Heidi Swap. Yes, from Heidi Swap that go in uh, in planners. I love these sticky pockets. They're great. This is a jar of stamps that I got at Michael's. I think the regular price was $9.99 or $14.99. And when I use stamps, this is what I usually go for because they're all functional icon st uh, stamps and they work the best. And I, these are a great, great price, especially if you use a coupon. And they're awesome quality too. So I would highly recommend these. These are almost always at Michael's. This, I think I got at Michael's too, and it's just some thin colored washi tape. And I like this for marking off like weeks of vacation or when Mike's out of town or whatever. I like using that instead of trying to draw a straight line. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, this is a Kipling 100 pens pen case and I don't use it for pens anymore. I think I have a few in here. This is mostly for my clear acrylic stamps. Oh, let's hope this isn't an avalanche. Okay, I do have some pens in here as you can see. Um, but this is where I keep all of my various acrylic stamps and stamp locks. I'm not gonna pull all this out, but you get the idea. It's kind of a mess. Uh, I did not like this for pens because I had to stretch these so far and I couldn't even get all the pins next to each other. So that was kind of a bust for me. I know a lot of people love this and they're very expensive. I got mine at um, Marshall's, I think, several years ago. And it's, it's actually perfect for holding my stamps. All right, this is a sticker book that I made for my Happy Planner stickers. And it's using just an old Happy Planner and expander discs. And what I did was I just had old Happy Planner pages and I just glue sticked, glue sticked, glue stuck uh, Happy Planner sticker pages in them. And I, so I've been using this for a while. The Happy Planner stickers, in my opinion, are the best planner stickers out there that, well, that you can get in the store anyway. And uh, yeah, I've used a lot of these. And I have some recollections ones stuck back in here, but I have been meaning to add to this because I have um, a lot more stickers that I would like to put in here, but just haven't gotten around to it. But when I am putting stickers in my planner, I go to this first, because this is almost all completely functional. And stuck in here too, these are my, unbe or well, they're not in a sticker book, they're in their own sticker books, the Happy Planner stickers. 
I usually go for the mini ones because I don't like giant stickers. <laughs> uh, but this is the seasonal one and I love this one because it's got all the different holidays and color schemes. It's a better way to flip through it like this. Oh, I just love it. It's got a lot of decorative stuff, but it's also got tons of functional stickers in there. So that's great. This is the classic productivity one. I don't really like this that much. I don't know why I bought this, honestly. The stickers are too big and there's a lot of like, hustle girl, go get it girl. And I'm like, I'm not that person, so. Uh, but I did go and buy the Productivity Mini because some of the stickers, uh, the functional ones, that's why I'm talking about the most, that I, I really do like. And they're a lot smaller and more, uh, I'm more likely to use them in my planner. So yeah, the Mini is much better, much more useful to me. And then I love this one. This is the Faith. And this is in the Mini also. And it's got some really pretty stickers. Uh, with some good verses and inspirations, and I love this. All right, I have a bunch of randoms in here. Let's see. I can probably throw some stuff away. Oh, that is a grocery list. Because <laughs> I, I put my own, oh, here's another one. I put my meal plans in my planner, and so that's why that's in there. I have some more of these ink pads. These came in a three-pack with, I think, a black one uh, that I pulled out earlier, and so more ink. Although I don't stamp as much as I used to. These two I need to throw away. Declutter because these are a lot of like sticker shop, like Etsy stickers that I've gotten through planner meetups and I I've used all the really good ones. I need to come through here and and declutter what I don't use. They are not organized in any way. I used to have these organized and they're just not that much anymore. There's some really nice stickers in here. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I think these came from the Target Dollar Spot years, like three or four years ago. Okay. Colored pencils, self-explanatory. And our Meyer has these scrapbooking kits for a dollar that I like to pick up because sometimes the color schemes are super cute. So that's, still in the plastic. And this is some Valentine stickers. I don't know where I got these. Probably Target. Oh, yeah. Target dollar spot, bullseye playground, whatever you want to call it. On the inside here, you can see there are loops and I have a few markers in there. I don't know why, or two markers and a pencil. I don't know why they're there, but um, I'm just going to take them out. So that is my planner tote, planner caddy, however you want to say it. This works great for me. Whenever I plan, I do not plan at a desk. I usually plan with a lap desk in my bed on Sunday nights. That's kind of my routine uh, for getting ready for the next week because if I don't, I'm uh, I'm just like an empty headed person walking around. I don't know what's going on. It's It's ridiculous, but it's how my brain works and I need to use it. So this is perfect. It's inexpensive as you can see. I mean, it's a tool tote. It's, I mean, this is metal. It's, it's sturdy. And when I've gone to other places where I'm, I'm planning, like when I've gone out of town and played in my planner, I just bring this. Sometimes I have a bag of like extra markers or whatever, but this is just my, my regular planning stash and storage. So I hope that you enjoyed this today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new here. I will also link my planning playlist here in the end cards so that you can check that out. I will put this video in that playlist as well. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.